good morning students today we will discuss the important features of an organism that belongs to class reptilia and its name is chelone midas it belongs to phylum chordata subphylum vertebrata division nathostomata superclass tetrapoda class reptilia and order chelonia so this is the organism by name chelone by the genus name chelone and this is chelone midas chelone midas is commonly called as the green sea turtle or the soup turtle and it is one of the largest sea turtles and we will go to its important features why it is it called as the soup turtle it is because it is a delicacy that means it is an edible form uh, which is used as a delicacy in uh, several regions of the world that is why it is called as the soup turtle then why it is called green sea turtle it is because there is a layer of green fat between their internal organs and shell and this is called as the green fat and this imparts a greenish color to the uh, body and that is why it is called as the green sea turtle and this green uh, color of fat is because of a large amount of vegetation which is consisted in their diet because they usually feed on uh, sea grasses and uh, sea grasses constitute majority of their diet and because of the heavy diet on sea grasses the fat uh, uh, attains a green color and that is deposited as a subdermal layer between their internal organs and the shell and that is why the name green sea turtle and this is a cosmopolitan species it enjoys circum global distribution in the tropical and the subtropical uh, oceans it is seen in parts of the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the mediterranean and the northern indian ocean and uh, so the sea is its habitat but it uh, comes on the beaches and rocky uh, ledges it is always it is usually seen basking on the beaches because its egg laying occurs in uh, terrestrial environment it lays eggs on uh, eggs uh, on beaches in nests which it excavate on the soil and uh, so you can also see them on the beaches and rocky ledges along the coastline of various seas and in india it is often seen around the um, uh, andaman islands and the coastal saurashtra in gujarat and it is the second largest overall species of sea turtles where the adult green turtles they can grow to a length of about 1.5 meters so it is uh, considered to be one of the largest turtles and the shape of skull is somewhat round and smooth it has got a round and a smooth skull the snout you can see it is short whereas there are other turtles who have a longer hooked beak whereas in green turtle the snout is short and the beak is also unhooked it is unhooked and it covers the bones of the jaw and another peculiarity is that the jaws of this turtle they are short and they are serrated that means they are having so like edges because i already told you they feed on sea grasses they rip the plants apart and to cut the grasses they require uh, such serrated or so like jaws so this helps in tearing the plants apart so this is regarding the head region the anterior region of the head uh, with a, a round and smooth skull shape short unhooked beaks and serrated jaws now we will come to the entire body which is enclosed in a shell the dorsal part of the shell this is called as the carapace and this ventral part of the uh, shell is called as the plastron so here you can see a diagram with the view of the carapace and the both the carapace as well as the plastron is made up of uh, such scales which are called as scutes you can see large scales which are called scutes they are actually scales which are overlaid by large scales ectodermal scales which are overlaid by horn so they are horny flat scales they are called as the scutes and the scutes compose both uh, the plastron as well as the carapace the carapace is uh, somewhat brownish heart shaped and formed of horny scutes or plates 
and how the carapace and plastron are joined they are joined by ligaments there is no bony connection between them but the carapace and the plastron are joined by ligaments now we come to the body the body color of the adult ranges from green to brown and over the body surface you can see spots blotches streaks etc on the dorsal side these marks are somewhat brown in color but they are pale yellow on the ventral side the head as i already told you is shaw, uh, mean small and uh, it is almost blunt the neck is also short and another peculiarity is the presence of limbs the four limbs are modified into paddles or they act like flippers what is it for this helps in swimming in the sea water so the four limbs are modified into paddles of flippers and you can see the tail which is short and stumpy and an, uh, uh, a feature of uh, these uh, turtles is that the kelonians is that they are able to retract their head into the shell so it's a kind of defensive mechanism and in green sea turtles the head and neck are partially retractile into the shell and the shell and the skull are somewhat porous and this helps in reducing the body weight so this helps in swimming so the shell and skull are porous and lighter in weight now coming to the respiration the respiration is pulmonary and it uses lungs for respiration and the lungs are having numerous compartments for storing air so they come to the surface gulp air and that is being stored in the lungs so they are lung breathing forms even though they reside in water then the eyes so coming to the eyes the eyes are uh, covered by uh, a transparent membrane which is called as the nictitating membrane so it is also a protective mechanism uh, for its life under water uh, the visual power is very high but the hearing is very poor now some other features it was mentioned that the green turtles they come ashore for egg laying and basking in the sun so this is an egg laying process for which the female will scoop out sand and make a small excavation and uh, it it will lay eggs in this excavated nest and it lays around 350 to 600 eggs in a pit and they are covered with sand okay so the females crawl out on the beaches dig nests and lay eggs during the night and later the hatchlings will come out the young ones will come out the fully developed young ones will come out breaking the shell and there is a mechanism in this young one by which it breaks open the shell and it has got a structure here it is called as the egg tooth or the carunkle the egg tooth or the carunkle is used by the hatching young one to break open the shell and once hatched out the young ones they will come out of the egg and they will move to the sea then coming to the diet as it was already mentioned they feed on various species of sea grasses they are mostly herbivorous but the young ones are somewhat carnivorous and the adult uh, turtles they feed on the sea grass by trimming only the top of the grass they leave the stems there they leave the roots of the plant there so through such the uh, such a feeding technique the sea, the vegetation is improved there because they only uh, trim the top of the plant the root is left there the stems are left there so the turtles help to improve the growth and health of the sea grass beds in the sea so that is one of their ecological importance then uh, they are also migrants because it uh, it was mentioned that they live in the sea they live in the oceans but for egg laying they have to come to the shore so they migrate long distances between the feeding grounds and the hatching beaches and there are many islands worldwide which are known as turtle islands because of the presence of green sea turtles nesting and basking on their beaches there is some sort of sexual dimorphism in kelon what is sexual dimorphism we can uh, by certain features we will be able to distinguish between the male and the female 
So, to some degree the ex exhibit sexual dimorphism that is the adult males are easily distinguishable by having a longer tail compared to the females and this tail can be seen uh, past the shell beyond the shell and another feature is that they have got longer claws on the front flippers on the front flippers they have got claws longer claws compared to the females so here you can see the flippers the forelimbs as well as the hind limbs are modified as flippers which help them in swimming in males the uh, claws on the front flippers are longer compared to the females then coming to their um, ecological status that means the conservation status the Keelon Midas is uh, listed as endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources as well as the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. And now there are steps taken to protect it from exploitation because it is an edible one. So now it is in certain countries it is illegal to collect them, harm them or kill them. And in addition many countries have laws and ordinances to protect the nesting areas of turtles, the green sea turtles. But still the turtles are in danger because of over exploitation. And in some countries the turtles and their eggs are still hunted for food. And pollution also uh, indirectly harms the uh, turtles uh, at both population and individual scales because of pollution. Many turtles die after being caught in fishing nets. So all these contribute to the reduction in population. In addition, the development of the real estate uh, business often causes habitat loss by eliminating nesting beaches for these turtles. So all these contribute to they uh, contribute to a threat in their biodiversity status and uh, coming to the lifespan their longevity they are long living the average lifespan or the average life expectancy is 150 years so these are some of the features of green sea turtle thank you